So we're all a bit nosy, right? Especially when it comes to Lisa Snowden's makeup bag. So we're gonna delve into her favorite products. Go on then. So this Super Facialist is really affordable. It's a great cleanser. It's like eight pounds. And okay. for me, it's all about making sure your skin is super clean, especially when I've been on shoots on TV when you've got the makeup and the lights and everything. Yeah. It's about getting the skin really clean. It really helps preventing any kind of future breakouts. And um, I just hate having makeup on when I go to sleep, obviously. It's a big beauty sin. She's so got quite a few cleansers, hasn't she? Have you yeah. used the vitamin C one, the oily one? Yeah, I haven't used anything else except right. for this okay. one. And this one I love. So it's hyaluronic acid, so it's a firming, moisturizing. It's got vitamin E. There's little balls in there, but they're not plastic balls, so do not fear. They completely disperse. Mm -hmm. And it just lathers up really gently and it's got copper in it okay. and calcium so loads of minerals mm. it's it's a really lovely cleanser and sometimes when I've washed a cleanser off it leaves the skin really dry this doesn't at all that's the key thing is it? that's it's horrible to have thing. that stripped feeling yeah when like, you come oh, out and everything's that. too tight it's really not it's super moisturized and it really helps to get all the makeup off all okay. the impurities so that's my favorite cleanser at the moment for those little hormonal blemishes that you get which I inevitably once a month end up with a little few breakouts around my chin this is magical formula. It literally takes down spots within four hours. Mm -hmm. The best thing to do if you are getting a massive breakout or you feel something erupting, something boiling over, you get an ice cube, put the ice cube on it, just, just take down the swelling and then you pop this on it. And Ooh, the salicylic acid, yep. which is, which is acne hates it basically, yeah. it will attack it, but so gently. So sometimes when I've used spot creams in the past, it dries the area up. And then you can't conceal it. You can't conceal it, mm. so then it's scabby and it just looks horrible. This doesn't do that at all. It just gets mm. to work gently okay. on the spot and then you can put cover up over mm. it. So it's so easy to use. So and that's, that's the most important thing. So if you can't cover it, then there's no point exactly. in really getting rid of it like that in a dry way. And pop it in your handbag and then just keep reapplying and then put the concealer. So mm. it's, it's Murad and it's blemish control. Great skin Rapid care. spot Murad. relief. Yeah. Worth the money, I think. And especially for something like that, you don't want to waste money. You just no. want to get it solved. And you just use a tiny little bit and you just keep it in your handbag, makeup bag. Good, good, good. Now this isn't for everybody, and this is a really cute, look at the little baby size. This is handbag size, travel size. This is Aurelia's deodorant. Right, so I've I... just started using actually a natural deodorant. Not Aurelia, but one similar. Yeah, so I'm all about trying to go natural. When it comes to deodorant, you don't want the aluminium, you don't want the chemicals. I do a lot of work for breast cancer care, and mm. I'm just very aware that there, there's been a few links with breast cancer and deodorant. So this is a cream. It's got kind of like a little bit of a so eucalyptus-y. You have to pop your finger in it and then wipe it under your arm. It's weird, I know. Especially if you've been using to, to roll on or mm. to spray. So you literally just scoop it up and then you just moisturise it into is your bigger armpit. pot like that as well or is that just the travel size dip in a finger? No, it's exactly the same. So this is tiny. The, the normal size pot is about that big and so you can get your hand in a bit more easily. Eucalyptus it, again. It is, it is yeah. a strange way of doing it. But I promise you, it, it, it's a great deodorant. It really works and it's all natural. Yeah, I think that's what I love it. Absolutely key. It's confidence. Otherwise, every time you spray it, you're like, ooh. Yeah, ooh, but also it's no the need. environment as well. So yeah. the aerosols, you just don't need to be doing that. So that's taking it back to basics and being really kind to you and to the environment. I don't know what this is. What's that? This is Recovery Plus Emergency Formula. Do you ever used to take Rescue Remedy? Yes, absolutely. Whenever I had to speak in front of camera, like years ago, or before exams, or things like that. Absolutely. Ooh. Well, this is basically like super sized. Right, it's okay. even stronger. So it's the emergency formula. And oh. I take it three times a day. You can put it in water. You can put it under Three times a day? Three, three times a day. Just to keep, because when I'm doing live TV or do you know what? Anything really. I just sometimes find myself getting a little bit stressed and a little bit unable to process things sometimes. Right. So I find that this really helps just to keep me on an even keel, especially at certain times of the month when you start flapping a little bit. Um, and when you've got a lot on your plate, you've got a lot of lists and you're trying to get through your day and also just high pressured situations and environments. So combating anxiety then. It's brilliant and it helps right. to reverse sort of negative thinking patterns as well. So it's just tons and tons of herbs packed into this little tincture and you just take a few drops. And, and how many years have you used that for then? This is new. This well, is really, really new for me. it looks like an old... I know. It looks like an old tincture. It's a little old pharmacy style. Right, okay. which, I, which I quite like. Actually. I like it yeah. too. So it's just natural remedies and um, just lovely herbs to sort of, just to calm and soothe the system. Do you get an instant effect from that? I think so. I okay. think I really well, do. 
take some now. <laughs> I'm all right right now. Oh, I just no, fall asleep. I, yeah, I love it, I love it, I love it. And okay. again, I love these little things that you can kind of just keep in your No, you are mini, aren't you? It's like, no mini. you know, it's just hand luggage. That's what I'm always thinking about. So, I want to talk about this thing next. What is that? I this haven't is seen this. that before. So this is by a lady called Ashley Black, and it's a fascia blaster. Oh. So fascia is before. the sort of the fibrous, like the connective... Yeah tissue that's attached to the muscle. Anastasia Kilios works with fascia massage, I remember. I think massage uh, is so important. So when I am using my cleanser... Has it got a battery in all? No, so it's it go round and round. Oh, that is it. got these sort of little claws, hasn't it? So yeah. you, there's no battery. You literally do it yourself. And ideally... It's quite firm though, is that? It's like proper, like solid plastic. It's solid plastic. Right. I would do it on you. But what we do need to do is like, ideally you'd have a cleansed face. Right. And then you'd put like an oil or right. you'd put like, I love this bee venom, which is a lovely, it's really natural by La Creme. And it's just a really lovely sort of... Um, to give a nice slip to the skin. A nice slip to the skin. Ideally you would have either been in the shower or in the bath so your skin's already warm. Right. And you do it on areas that, see, so hold a lot of tension in your jaw. Yeah. So like, oh, I definitely do that. Tension, you, mm. like some people like, but you know, grind your teeth at night. You hold a lot of tension, and that pulls the face down. So I'm mm. always trying to like do massage. You know, a lot of like when you're putting your creams on, do lots of lovely massage and doing all of this. This does exactly the same thing. Right. So what I do is I start on the area underneath the cheekbone, and you just literally. <laughs> oh, that looks too rough. No, honestly, it's not because what you know. Do like it on me, just so I can. Really grab. strong massage needs to break down the tissue, and right. you know, so. <laughs> Honestly, Ready? oh no, that's soft. Yes, yeah, so you don't press really hard. Right, okay, fine. I've never really done it on anybody else, but you go <laughs> really fast and you go really fast and you can go on, onto the jawline. So it's not about exfoliating at all. It's not, now. it's about, it's about getting into the muscle and right. breaking it down and softening. Oh, right, and okay. what it's supposed to do is also shrink the area. So it breaks down any tension, it breaks down all that sort of past build up of all the fibres being okay. entwined and you sort of do it on your cheekbones, you can do it, for me it's underneath here, I've got this nice little bit here to work on. Right, um, okay. You can also do it around your eyes, but gently, so you just do a little massage, so you can kind of... And how often do you use this? I try and do it every day, so sometimes really? if I'm, at the end of the day I've cleansed my face. That you, does actually feel quite nice over the sinuses actually. Doesn't it? So you, I mean, you can do it as hard or as, and there's like loads of different things that you can do. But sometimes if I've got a bit of a migraine... So how long would you... Oh yes, quite nice for a migraine, migraine. I feel, yeah. I mean, and also quite nice that it doesn't vibrate. I find all the vibrating facial cleansers a bit... A bit yeah. like stressful. It's quite nice to have something that's quite quiet. And you can just... Yeah, so I mean... You could do it for 10 minutes a day. Right. How long have you used that for? Has that been like in your bag for years? No, this is also sort of only about six months. But like mm. it just feels like it releases tension, you know, in areas that you mm. might... You're holding it. Especially when you're maybe just being like camera ready all the time. Yeah. You're but having to be all quite sparkly. This part of my face I always want to try and firm more right. and also shrink a little bit too, you know? Okay. And so you can really work on the jaw. And I know it looks aggressive, but it's not because you're just no, doing it, doesn't it actually feel fast and light. It looks worse than it feels. And what you really ideally want is for the blood circulation to come to the surface okay. so you do end up quite pink. What's it called again? The fascia blaster. Fascia blaster. Little free link link below. <laughs> So you've obviously had loads of makeup artists do your makeup. So throughout the years, have you kind of like learned like favorite products that work and ones so that don't, much. or yeah. that's not how I should do my eyes? Or? So much. I mean, that's where I've learned everything just mm -hmm. by watching, you know, people like you and just watching as how you're doing it and you're like you're changing the shape of my eye or, you know. And I've obviously learned loads of bad things mm -hmm. as well as so like I wouldn't do that. But and for me, I'm not when I do makeup on myself. I'm not a heavy makeup kind of girl. Mm -hmm. Just a few products will just get me out of the door in the morning and I just want to be quick. Yeah. I want it to be like 10 minutes max. Oh, absolutely. So yeah, it's yeah. it's the eyes really that I like mm -hmm. to focus on. Bit of concealer, but eyelash curlers, mm -hmm. a must. And if these have been in my collection, not this, what, this one pair, but um, I've used them for about 20, 25 years. The minutes. shimmer ones are always the They're best, just fabulous because they? they've got that lovely kind of curved, so it really kind of can get straight really gently into the um, eyelid and it just, you can do it really gently, it doesn't hurt or anything and it just gives a great curl and a lovely lift. So... I just think they're the most snuggest fit yeah, in that shape. The absolutely. ones don't seem to fit. No, you can just really... Such a variety of eye shapes but they seem to fit quite snugly and, and also doing it on someone else it's quite tricky but 
I find that they're the easiest ones to use as a tool. I think so too. They last for ages as well, and you just have to change the little rubber bit yeah. eventually. How often do you change a rubber? Not really that often. I don't need to because mm. I don't. If you don't press too hard, then that's never going to cut into yeah. it, really, is it? But I mean, I'm aware of it because you don't want that to start mm. getting a little kink in it because then that when when you can yeah. hurt yourself. But these are a must. Then a lovely mascara, and then this is my new favorite color from Marc Jacobs. I it's love beautiful, those and it twists up and it twists down, yeah. so it's phenomenal. So you don't need a pencil sharpener, which is just sometimes something that I just never find. Yeah. My, and it's just a lovely color, and they're really soft. And so for me, I can put that in the top lid there, a underneath tight lining, tight lining yeah. up there, and leave it. And because it's propelling, you can extend it quite. Yeah, quite a way up, so you can really get into those lashes actually. Absolutely, rather Reach being up so there. close to the pencil and it being brown, it's a bit more yeah. gentle rather than black. Or just put it underneath there, and mm. just because they're so soft, smudge it, and then equally just draw it onto the top of the, and then just smudge it. Because that pencil's a gel formula, so it dries and then it doesn't budge. So if you find that coal pencil slips on your eyes or kind of breaks down, this is a brilliant formula that once dried doesn't move. Love it. It's super super soft to apply. Absolutely love it. And then brows for me. Brows are a biggie and this... I don't know this brand. I know. It's it's by New Skin, it's new colour and it's a, a light shine eyebrow shaping kit. And so this is what you've got inside. It's an American brand, right? It is an American mm. brand. I always but, go for the one in the middle, it's kind of like a mousy yeah. brown. And I find that if you use powder, it's a little bit easier. Yeah, easier and, and slightly softer. Softer, because mm. sometimes if you are doing brows, unless you're of course mm. a professional makeup artist, you can sometimes see it and I just don't like that. Yeah. So, and also what comes with it, you get little pair of tweezers if you need them. Working well with your like mini vibe. Exactly, <laughs> everything's mini. You get a little tiny, little, little eyebrow brush. brush and then this little tiny slanted brush. Now I know that you would probably use this product and you'd use your own brushes. No, I'd use that because it's nice and thin. So it's, yeah, it's a good brush it's actually. It's a really it's not nice thick. slanted yeah. brush. But it's a lovely cool grey tone which kind of gives you the shadow of a brow rather than anything that's too dark and it's going to make them look overpowering over your eye. Exactly, just gently just fill in the little gaps. And then this, which is what I really like, is this is a, sort of like a little highlighter. Mm. But it almost... It's like a little highlighter, okay, with a dinky little brush, and you can... Oh, never do that! Why? No, 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 no. Why? Because you've just blown loads of bacteria on the brush, and then you're putting it on your face. You're joking. I've seen it time and time again, and it's just like... Bacteria no. from my mouth? All the germs from your I mouth? I blew, I didn't spit! I blew. You've got germs, you've got, you've got droplets of water in your, in your breath. So after I've done that and I've applied it to my face, <laughs> so I don't wash you, my brushes. You can tap it. I mean, I did a little. I did that. Little, I did that little thing. Did, didn't yeah. I? But it's such a habit. I see all the time, and yeah. it's really dead brush. So I just do this, like I'm <laughs> like some little cigarette. Just get the ash off, and then literally, I don't always do this. I don't always have time, but it almost like yeah, just I think it makes a, such a difference because it's slightly lighter than your base, and it just really polishes the effect it, of the brow. It's not an eyeliner. I mean, it's not a highlighter, is it? As such, it's sort of a. It is highlighting your brow shape. I think in the powder, it's softer because a lot of these products come with cream highlighters, mm. and then you see the pigment underneath the eyebrow. But I think the powder is really soft. So it just gives it a little bit more definition. So love, I like that love, little love. one. Nice. I'm looking that brand. Told actually. off there, didn't I? Um, should have probably mentioned this before. I did mascara, but it's Rapid Lash and it absolutely works. And it's the cheapest one as well, isn't it? It's so cheap and you literally just paint a little line on, ideally when you go to bed, but if you forget, you can do it. You'll probably tell me off. Do it before your mascara, no. let it dry properly. <laughs> Possibly not. what she's going to say. No, I'm not going to tell you off. I think it's brilliant to do it before bed. I must do mine because I've got New nickname, mascara. new nickname, Bossy Barnes. <laughs> just paint, like you don't have to do too much, just a little sh that and is the eyelash one, is it? Yes. Or does the eyelash one not come with a wand? It no. Comes with a, oh, right, okay. Do you do that at the roots? Yeah, or, I just all over the lash. No, I just literally paint it one tiny line right on the roots, done. Right, okay. And then on my eyebrows, I just put a little bit through to the sparse yeah. areas. And I promise you, that does really start to work. It's really effective, but you have to keep doing it, otherwise, it just goes back to normal again. Absolutely, it, like it most does. Things. So that's a goodie, I think, yep. that everybody should know about. You've reminded about. me to get back on there, I think. And it's so easy to do, every day. Do you not find that by your bedside you've got like hand creams and eyelash things and there's just like so many things I'm doing now, like sleep spray pills. <laughs> My bedside no. table is now becoming like another beauty cabinet. You've got your collagen pills, you've got your yeah. Lumity pills. Do you take Lumity as well? Yeah. 
Right. Religiously. Right, it's amazing. It's a game changer. It completely helps Hair and skin, it's fantastic. And energy wise as well. And touch wood. I haven't had a cold for a while. <laughs> Got right. to jinx myself now. Um, but it's no, funny it. you say that because I don't get that four o'clock, which I would always kind of like yeah. grab for the chocolate. And is that to do it's with more those su pills then? sustained energy? Absolutely. Ooh. I think they're brilliant, absolutely. So I love this Pericone MD, it's cold plasma eye. Cold plasma eye? Yeah, so it's like, plasma's like this special technology that, that Dr. Pericone's worked on for over five years and it's this amazing kind of liquid crystal delivery system that really right. helps to kind of like moisturize the area, eliminate fine lines, just really hydrating, but feel how gentle and soft it is. Yeah. It's just, it's not really heavy at all. And so unlike other creams, you can put it all over the eye and you can put it really close under the eye as well. Right, okay. So you wouldn't do, do that, that without... normally? No. Oh. My turn to tell you off. <laughs> you shouldn't... I need because... to get it as close as I can. It's my eyes are really wrinkly right up to my lash line. I need to... You just literally put it onto the bone there right, okay. and around under the brow. They're... This is an exception, and then other eye creams, because that skin is so thin under the eye, you don't want to oversaturate that area with cream because that's when you wake up puffy. Right. Okay. Too much product. Okay, that but makes The sense, skin yeah. absorbs the cream up, what it, the, the amount that it needs, so you just literally put it there. But with this product, you can put it all the way up under your eyes, you can put it on your lid, under your brow bone, slather it on, and it's a lovely tightening effect. It's got a really, like, um, rubbery texture here. Like, it's made my skin really... Tight. It looks like amazing. Most eye creams that I use, and I do put an eye cream on sort of throughout the day just to freshen up my skin, but it's hydrated. But this has kind of left it sort of really quite. It looks amazing. Literally, it's like, like it's I've got filler on my face. It's smoothed out everything. I've never put it on over makeup, but I do guess. Not? No. Oh, great midday touches. Well, yeah. definitely with this one. I mean, I'd never thought to do that, but it looks amazing. It's just freshened up the whole eye area, hasn't it? That has completely smoothed out the whole of my face. Well, not the whole of my face. <laughs> it's completely smoothed out all those fine lines. Which is what we need. Has anyone else used this? It's quite... Um, it's revolutionary. It's amazing. Well, that is a very different texture, and I love that. I would love to see how it works with makeup over the top. So do you use that just at night? Or? No, I use it twice a day. So for, in the right. morning and then at night, and then mm. I use it all over my eyes, and then you can also use like a nice little, a, 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 a more rich eye cream if you really want a little bit more on that area okay. too, just to eliminate the wrinkles. But... Right, I'm going to get that. I'm definitely going to get that. And then... Da, 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 da. It's rather battered, this package, and I've probably got loads of brown stuff on my nose now, but this used to say Colour Wow. Well. Um, it is such... It's very, a very product. used, and it's for those times in the month, or literally like three weeks after you've had your colouring, and you've just got that little bit of regrowth, and it's just brilliant because it's subtle, it's so easy to use, it's so quick. I literally just pop a bit of that on and I just paint it onto my greys. So whereas before at work, a few years ago, before Colourwell came out, we used to have to give our matte eyeshadows to the hairdressers if they needed to touch them up or a bit of brown mascara. Brown but... mascara? Yeah, You'd yeah. always have to like paint the mascara on. Yeah, it would be like really dry and sticky. <laughs> You're parting. But this is amazing. It's and you... such a great product. They do it for blondes as well, because yep. obviously you've got the grey thing, but I've got like the kind of like pirate black root situation. So I like to lighten it as well. They do different colours. Yeah, and I've got a new blonde one out, which is really good, which I put at the front when it's particularly dark. Because you do get the little greys around the front as well. And what, with it being a powder, it's really gentle and it's like you don't get anything on the mm. scalp because there's nothing, that's a giveaway, isn't it? You've just got a dark scalp mm. full of colour if you paint it on. But the powder just really grabs, the grey grabs the powder rather. And um, it's... Brilliant! Then you can get away with a few more days before going to get your hair coloured. So the thing about beauty and what I love about you know working on this channel is that you just learn from so many people. I learn from you guys. I've learned from you, and it's just brilliant to have this kind of cross conversation. Yeah, to share. Thanks, Liz. Education, no worries. Really, really brilliant. I'm going to go and get the eye cream. I'm going to go and get the super <laughs> facialist, and I'm going to do this guy. Yeah. What's it called again? It's the fascia blaster. So we're going to add the links below to all the products that Lisa's been talking about and also a link to Lisa Snowden's site, You Glow Girl. She's a brilliant beauty blogger and it's just fantastic to have a great conversation together and exchange ideas, all the products that we love and work. If you like what we've done, please subscribe and we look forward to chatting to you all down below. Yep. See you next time. Bye.